Hello Linux fans, Rob here and I've got something different for you today as far as the videos go. I want to talk about Cloudberry Backup. Now these folks were very patient with me. They reached out to me months ago and said, hey Rob, we'd like for you to take a look at our backup solution. And my first question was, does it work on Linux? And they said, absolutely. In fact, there's a free version for personal use. That's what I've got loaded up today, so we're going to take a look at that. But they also have a pro version, and stay tuned at the end of this video because we're going to have a promo code just for Linux Quest viewers that give you a discount off of the pro version if you decide to go that route. I'll also have a link in the video notes for this coupon. So very nice of the folks at Cloudberry to offer that up right here at the holidays, save you some cash if you decide to go pro. Now there's multiple things that I like about Cloudberry. I set this up, it was very easy to set up. We're going to take a look at that and step through the process if you wanted to do a local backup. Now I mentioned yesterday in my video on Linux Mint 18.3, they have their own backup solution built in. However, not all Linux operating systems have a backup solution. Also, this is very, very robust and you can take it to different levels if need be. All right, so the Linux backup solution, uh, just kind of a quick overview. Uh, it allows you to back up to Amazon S3 or any other cloud storage, uh, Mac Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, and a multitude of other cloud services. Now, there's a freeware version. Again, that's for personal use. And it comes with a lot of the features in Pro, uh, such as the scheduler and retention policies, things like that, which we will take a look up, a look at. And there's uh, folder selections that you can go in and designate so you're not backing up everything. Now the Pro version has a lot of advanced features such as compression and encryption. And normally the price is $29.99 for a single license. But again, stay tuned, we've got some savings here. Then there's an ultimate version which does not limit you to file storage. So the main features here are scheduled backup, compression. You get email notifications, which when I set things up, I got emails coming in. Uh, also, I was uh, able to securely set things up with verification codes and things like that, uh, which you've got to have in place today. There's incremental backup. So again, you can go in and choose just what you want to back up. Uh, retention policy, local backup, which is what we have set up. There's a command line interface. And this is very important, 256-bit AES encryption, as well as network location backup. So Cloud, Cloudberry's reliable storage, again, it's cross-platform. Let's face it, you're not always working on a Linux system. Well, not, not usually is everyone working on a Linux system. If you're working in an office environment, you're working on Windows more than likely, or maybe you have a Mac. I love that it's cross-platform. Direct data transfers and restore is always free, so they're not going to hold you ransom for more cash when you need to do a restore. Okay, last but not least, let's take a look at the different editions and the storage available because that's important. So Cloudberry for Linux free, your data volume can be up to 200 gigabytes. So it'll manage backup up to 200 gigabytes. Now that would be if you're using local storage, maybe you've got, uh, you know, attached network storage or something that you're pointing to as far as your local is concerned. In Cloudberry for Linux Pro, up to five terabytes of data can be managed by Cloudberry. And then you have Ultimate, which is unlimited. So that's your rundown and you'll see the pricing there. They're very upfront about everything. So I like that. All right, so let's jump over here and we will take a look at how you set things up. So we're going to step through the process. Now, we'll be setting up here the one license personal use free version. And the first thing you want to do is you want to set up a backup plan. So we're going to step through this process. We're going to go to file, create a backup plan. Now, I've already created a, a folder on my hard drive called the LM Backup One. So I'm going to choose that and we'll click continue. But if you've not set that up, you can click on add and then you're going to choose either one of these uh, cloud versions that you have set up if you're going pro so you could sync in the cloud or you can simply choose file system. See there's a long list here, soft layer, uh, Cloudian, Dream Objects, HP Cloud. I'm not so sure I would go with HP Cloud, but anyway, there we go. Uh, so a big selection. Once that's all in place, you click on continue. 
and then you can give the plan a name. So I'm just going to take this back here. Uh, we're not going to have that. We're going to say backup. I'm going to make this a little shorter and leave the date. We'll click continue. Now you can go in and simply choose which files or folders you prefer to back up. In this case, if you wanted to drop down and go into home and then we see Linux Quest, I'm going to choose the Linux Quest folder which will incorporate uh, actually we don't need backup to be backed up. This will incorporate everything. Let's take off templates, public, Caden uh, Live will leave in there and that's it. So we're going to click continue and so I've done a selected file backup and we can back up all the files in the selected folders or you can choose the file type. So let's say for example you only want to walk, uh, back up your uh, your office documents so you could go in and choose that or perhaps you want to back up all your photos so you could go in and choose the extension separated by semicolon. Then you could selectively choose do not back up files of these types just in case you get certain extensions that are in there that don't need to be there and don't really need to be backed up. You could also back up empty folders and here's a nice option do not back up system and hidden files. So very powerful here so we're going to click continue. Next if we had the pro version we could enable uh, compression or encryption. In this case this is the free edition so we're going to hit continue and next we can specify the retention policy for the backup files. We could use default or we could specify our own policy. We could say delete versions older than, pick a number of days, or always keep the last version, or keep the number of version for each file. So you could choose here in this case let's say three or four of the same office document that you're working on. Maybe you just have multiple revisions, you're not sure uh, as you save it there which one you want to delete yet so this would be a safety uh, if you will for hanging on to additional documents. You could also delete files that have been deleted locally and you could set the time for when you delete those. So as you can see here very powerful. Alright we'll click continue. Now you could specify when to run the backup. You could set it up to run manually and if you're like me, probably better not do that because I, you know, I get busy on things and I forget things. Um, so I'm going to set up a specific date and you could set this up to recur at a specific time. So in this case we could say monthly and you can choose the first of the month and the day and tell it when you want to repeat and you could tell it when you want it to occur. So you could choose a weekend for example and maybe you know that every Saturday at 9 a.m. you're going to have your computer on and you could choose for that backup to happen then. So we're going to click continue and then here's the part that I really appreciate. I want to receive a notification email when the plan completes or when it fails in case the backup fails or in all cases. So you could set this up, you'll get an email telling you the results of the backup. So it's kind of set it and forget it. If something goes wrong, you could get an email telling you, hey, the backup failed. So again, really powerful and I really like how intuitive it is to set up. From that point, we're going to click continue and we're going to get a confirmation email telling me that, hey, you've set up your backup plan. Uh, gives you a nice summary here and you are done. So as you can tell you can set up a really powerful local backup for free with scheduling, folder selection, uh, free restore. Again a lot to like here and I'm really glad that the folks at Cloudberry were persistent with me. Okay so here's the cool stuff. So the folks at Cloudberry have offered up again just for Linux Quest viewers a coupon that gives you a discount on the pro version. So originally $29.99 Linux Quest viewers can pick this up for $20.99 if you decide to go with the pro version. Now this is good till January 1 of 2018 so you've got a few days to try this out. Try out the free version and if you like what you see and you you need the pro version then here you go you're gonna save nine bucks and I'll I'll save nine bucks anytime I can. Also, I just want to make it known that Cloudberry is not paying me for this video. They just passed on some savings for the Linux Quest viewers. 
they had followed, I think someone there had followed the channel and decided that they would like for me to kind of take a look at what they're doing here for backup and said, hey, if you'll share it, we'll give your viewers a discount. So I thought that was what we call a win-win. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope this has been informative. And uh, let me know if you decide to go with Cloudberry. Just be interested to see what your results are. As always, thanks for watching.